Even though it is a rainy night for Philippine basketball, we do continue with your coverage of the MPBL's fifth season. Ito po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino, coming to you live from the flag capital of the Philippines in Imo City inside its sports complex. And there you see the Bulacan Kuyas, they are in town tonight to take on Jamar Himpayan who had 11 points and 24 big rebounds versus Laguna. He teams up once again with JJ Helterbrand as one of Imos' veterans. At andyan din po si KG Canyaleta. No Mark Bingris tonight for Imos, but still, they are very formidable with a great mixture of youngsters and veterans on their home floor. It is Bulacan versus Imos as we thank you for joining us. This is Mixed Comments at your service alongside Coach Louis Gonzalez. Now, Coach Louis, itong Imos, they are 0-2 on their home floor. What do you want to see from them tonight in order to get the victory? Oh, so, unang-una, siyempre, is the first win in front of their home crowd in their home court for, for the Imos SV squad. And uh, for them to continue, all right, uh, getting yung sa playoff run nila, a win here will put them in that in that eighth place mm -hmm. tied with Sarangani and a game behind Iloilo. Kasi ito yung, ito yung, na yung magandang picture right now. Ito na inaabangan ng lahat. Eh. Now, I did mention as well no, na itong Imus nga may mixture ng veterans and youngsters. Ito namang Bulacan Kuyas, marami nang nag-depart na players mula sa kanilang roster. So it's gonna be very interesting as to how the rotations are gonna be for our two coaches. And why don't we find out about that mula sa ating courtside reporter na si Sheila Salaysay. Sheila, go ahead. Pagandang gabi, Megs and Coach Louie at sa lahat ng mga kaligang nakatutok ngayong gabi. Na Panggit mo nga ang rotation and that's basically the denominator of these two coaches. Para kaya Coach Gino, sabi niya dahil marami siyang veterano, medyo alangan siya on finding the right mixture when it comes to the rotation. On the other side naman sa Bulacan na mention aside from the players departing, may mga injured players din sila ngayong gabi. So it's going to be a tough uh, decision making for these two coaches. So basically, the storyline for Bulacan is a bit similar to Quezon City earlier today, no? So tignan natin how they will be able to fare out against the Imos SV squad. Now, we do thank you for joining us on MPTV Channel 98 on Signal TV, also on our live streams on Facebook and on YouTube. Ngayon, balikan natin ang previous games ng ating mga kopunan, beginning with the Bulacan Kuyas, a team that has struggled here in the MPBL. Their last win happened in May 12th, and we're already in August. No? It's 11 straight losses for them. The most recent one was against Pasig. Oh, alam mo, every game right now, it's, 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 it's gonna be very hard for this team. Bulacan Kuyas, they started the season well, pero again, if you keep on losing players, if you through, through, through injuries, alam mo, hindi talaga makompleto yung lineup mo, it's gonna be hard to any team. And uh, in this game against uh, the Pasig City MCW Sports, Ito yung sinasabi natin, wala, kulang ka sa lineup, kulang ka na sa player, so kalaban mo pa malakas na team. So lahat talaga yung numbers, papunta talaga lahat dun sa kalaban mo. And uh, they were really got dominated in this game. They have given up 100 points in four out of their last five outings dito sa MPBL. Let's see if that defense can be a lot better tonight against Imos. But now we talk about the SV squad. They were led by J. Mark Impayan with a monstrous double-double of 11 and 24 versus Laguna. Talk to me about that victory, Coach Louis. Oh, oh napakalaki nun. It was itong Imos in their game against Laguna. They, they really struggled to shoot that basketball. But with plus 20 in terms of field goal attempts, plus 20 in chances. Alam mo, yun maganda. Ayun ay, ay, yung nagsalba sa kanila in order for them to get that win versus Laguna. Yun, uh, yung 24, yung uh, 26 offensive rebounds. Alam mo, yun ay, yung malakas kasi most of the time, those offensive rebounds, 70% of the time, kay will be converted into made field goals. So, if you look at the, uh, this is what I'm saying, field goal percentage, mas malaki, mas magand, halos pareho, but, pero mababa pa talaga. Really struggle. Yes. <laughs> oh, really struggle. Then the three-point field goal, 9 out of 28, 32%. Pero, ito ng mga, ito ng mga Laguna, only shot four times. Alam mo yun, made only four out of 26 attempts. Pero, ito na yung pinagsasaba. Ito yung J. Marhimpayan factor, yung, re yung rebounding, supremacy nila versus the Laguna in that last game. Sabi nga ni J. Marquipan, he's very happy because he feels his improvement in rebounding the season. Of course, with the help of the likes of Marvin Hayes and uh, the rest of the big men of Imus no yan, sina KG Canyaleta, malaki yung improvement niya oh, in oh. that category. And so, it is Bulacan versus Imus as now we turn you over to Richard Tampos.
This is gonna be exciting, mga kaliga! Dito sa Imus Sports Complex, the flag capital of the Philippines, the city of Imus Capite. Tonight's main game is Bulacan versus your Imus SB squad. Live on the MPBL FB page, YouTube channel, MPTV Signal Channel 98, and will be shown on 1PH, the 2023 OK Bet, Manny Pacquiao's MPBL Season 5 by Extreme. Here are the starters first for Bulacan Kuyas. At forward number 21, Jeremy Cruz. Playing center number 25, J.R. Raplores. Forward number 11, Matthew Vejiga. Point guard number 10, Air John Akop. Two guard number 2, Renz Alcoriza. Bulacan Cuyas is led by Joseph Babagos, assistant coaches. Derek Evangelista, Mido San Juan, Engineer Sherwin Aliado, Eman Puno, Richard Cubarubias, Alex Abrahano, Assistant Team Manager, Jayas Nicolas Diaz, Team Manager, Carlo Reyes. And now, the starting five for your Imus SP. Coming in at center number 69, Brian Paundo. Starting at guard over 26, Jimboy Estrada. Point guard number 13, Mr. Fast, JJ Helterbrand. Power forward number 9, Jamar Gimpayan. Small forward number 10, Pai Pai Atub! Imus SB squad head coach is Gino Maransala. Assistant coaches J.R. Maransala, J.R. Carlos, Jarek Bailen, Jimmy Maransala, Nico Barbido, and amazing Rico Meyerhofer. Team manager Jojo Bonana, team owner is see the starters for Bulacan and Imus, we have Renz Alcoriza, Aaron Akob, Jera Flores, Matthew Vegiga, and Jeff Cruz for the Cuyas. Then we have Jim Boy Estrada, JJ Helterbrand, Brian Paundo, Poy Poy Aktub, and J. Mark Impine for the Imus SB squad. Imus is coming in with a record of 9 wins and 11 losses. They've won their last two outings. Kapilanaban for Bulacan again. They've been a struggling team, losing all of their last 11 games. And their last win happened in May 12th. We're already down in August. Let's see if they can change the narrative around for tonight's ball game. But Coach Louis, looking at this Emo starting lineup, is there anyone in particular that you would want to see step up for them? Oh, uh, al alam mo yung kailangan na hayaan lang ni Popoy Aktub at ni to ni Jim Boy Estrada na ifacilitate sila ni to ni the fast ni JJ Helterbrand. Miss on the first possession, mula kay Poy Poy Aktub. Miss as well from J. Mark Impine on the follow. Ito ngayon si J.J. Helterbrand. This is J.J.'s second season playing for Imus. Brian Paundo on the mid-range. So if you're Imus, you wanted to start and uh, at least uh, mabreak mo muna yung... Uh, Yung uh, eyes dito na, you know, you, it's, it's your third game here in your home court. At importante na mabigyan mo ng panalo yung uh, home crowd mo at yung, yung city na nirepresent mo. So, Imus lost in a close game versus Jensen in their home opener. Then they lost big time against the Never Sea Rice Vanguard. That was a statement game, by the way, for our defending champions winning in this very venue. Uh oh. Jimboy Estrada could not answer back on the three-pointer of Jem Cruz. It's now 3-2. to two. One and a half minutes gone by. Now there's a basket inside for Renz Algoriza. Uh -huh. And uh, you know how they started the game. Okay. Sa akin, napaka-crucial nito. In order for Coach Gino Manansala to maximize and at least try to experiment yung rotations. Because you, you know it's been a problem. Because team players nila up and down then. Eh throughout the season eh. nandiyan, misan nandiyan, misan wala oh, oh. Uh, really 
messes with your chemistry, no? The flow of your team all season long. And it's not just random players being in and out of your lineup. These are your stars. Oh, oh mga big time players. Talaga. And you know, hindi malakas tung lineup na to. Uh, you know, high expectation is start right, right from the get go nat ng tournament natin when we found out that uh, atong si JJ Helpebra and dito. Now, KJ and Canaleta is there. Itong si Paul Poy Aktub. Alam mo yun? So, ang laki na expectation talaga dun sa lineup na to nitong Amos SB squad. Now, this venue seems to be the home court venue of Poy Poy Aktub individually. Oh, oh. Iba yung level of chill pag sa kanya eh. It just shows how much itong mga tao dito follows yung social media nito ni uh, Poy Poy Aktub eh. Alam mo yun? Yung influence niya. And even in the pre-game warm-up, Yung mga duck-duck ni Poy Poy na antay talaga ng mga tao. Oo. And uh, so thankful din tayo kay Poy Poy kasi give it, he give it to the fans. Oh naman. Much like how Kitty Menes did it last year as Renzo Aguriza scores inside. It's 7-all, folks. Here in Imos, JJ Helterbrand. Led by Alcoriza. JJ drives, speed inside. Jamar Himpayan on the lefty finish. Pass intercepted by Poi Poi. Uh -huh. Here he is. Aku, the feed. Paundo for two. Uh, this is the pace that ang gusto natin. Uh, in order for you to utilize these two, itong si Jimboy Estrada and uh, Poi Poi Aku, it needs to be an open court game. Let's see if JJ can actually keep up with him. Uh oh, ayun yung mixture naman na na challenging right now with uh, Coach uh, Gino Manansala. Na he, he, he has a mix of vet veteran and youth. Pero with the right, it, it needs to come also with the right mixture. Eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi pa paano magbe-benefit magbe yung bawat isa sa style. Kasi it, it, it cannot be fast like what you mentioned. Baka hindi, baka hindi makasabay naman si uh, JJ. Eh. It's basically the Paolo Hubalde, AJ Miranda argument. Oh, Again, oh. feed inside. And J. Mar Hipayan scores. Now six points in this game. But the Giga, his three pointer. That was long. And here comes Boy Boy. Aktu trying to dazzle the crowd. Kick out. Estrada. Now the finish. Oh, oh. And see how far. Kung kabilis itong dalawang ito. So they just have to let them. Alam mo yung play. Pakawala nila yung dalawang yan. I think magigi madali sa kanila yung larong ito. Great beat on the baseline for JJ Heldrubrand. He was patient enough to find J. Mark in at the last second. And then, on the succeeding play, there's the pass by Boy Boy Aku onto the driving Jim Boy Estrada. 15 to 9, six and a half minutes in the opening frame. There you see the previous home game results, no? Para sa Imus SB squad, they lost by four to John Wilson, Mark Cruz, and the rest of the Jensen Warriors. And then they lost by 21 to the defending champions, Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Just saw Coach Gino Maranzala. Right now, his team is up by 6.15 to 9. Here's Ren Santuriza, double team. The Flores, who certainly has that shot, he misfires. Ball tap, out of bounds, in favor of Imus. Oh, Helter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost stepped on the line there. Yeah, almost a turnover. Uy, uy. Buti na lang, narinig siya ni J. Margipayan. JJ, he's the one double team now. There's the feed. Poi Poi thought about it. The drive and the foul. Two free throws for Mr. Aktub. Oh, oh, you know, that first step ni Poy Poy Aktub ang dapat mo talagang mantayan. That open step going to his right, if you give him that, it's goodbye. <laughs> so I'm not going to be surprised if Poy Poy is going to contribute a lot tonight. As this free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subukat kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas.
with the short rotation of Bulacan, it's going to be interesting as to whether or not they can keep up with the Emus running game. As now, we turn you over to Sheila Salaysay. It has been defense for Coach Gino Manansala at the beginning of the season. Pero ngayon, unti-unti nang nalihis ang focus niya at nalipat naman ito sa rotation. Uh, nakuha na daw niya ang balance pagdating sa sinong tao ang gagamitin sa loob. Kailangan ma-establish kung uh, anong players o sino ang lalo na sa paparating nilang mga laro against Paranaque and Montinlupa. Hindi magiging madali para makuha ang 6th of its 5th spot. Pero isa lang ang gusto niyang mangyari. Sundin ang role niya pagdating sa depensa. Mix Coach Louis? Well, if everything is a bit loose on offense, at least you have your defense going on for you. Oh, oh. And you know that uh, that's the name of the game right now. Uh, especially pag papunta ka na dun sa sa postseason, yung defense ha na talaga kasi uh, everything is on the table already. Okay, scouting reports, alam mo efficiency ng mga players, yung sharpness ng mga players. So, pupuntahan mo talaga yung defense mo. Now we bring you the epic move of the game in partnership with Ogi Bet together. We win. That's Jordan Ingel returning for the Bulacan Kuyas. We missed it. We to have him back. Oh, oh, and you know, he puts a lot of balance and control with this team. Very good in facilitating itong uh, si Ingel. 17-13, under five minutes in the opening frame. Here's Brian Faundo. Jamar Hintayan. That's a mismatch right there. Great help by Cruz, but Jamar recovers. Gusto lang talaga magdagdag ni Jamar ng recovery doon. Offensive rebound plus. Big stat pa ding eh, no? But again, Jamar Gimpayan, his rebounding has really leveled up in the season. He's number two in the league in rebounding behind Balti Baltazar. But boy, the disparity between them is a lot. Jamar averages 12.5 boards. Balti averages 17. Oh, oh. Alam mo yung second best, ang layo eh. Oh, no? oh. <laughs> Pero kung tutuusin individually, ang taas na nung 12 and a half. Mm -hmm. If you would apply that in the previous seasons of the MPBL, number one yun. And it's not easy also with itong kay Jamar na grabbing tw 12 in the, on the average. That was in their last game, 24. Oh, oh. Jamar just called for a second foul. Jamar Pagliari, Martin Hayes, and KG Canaleta is now check in. You know, I'm interested to see if KG Canaleta can still dunk the basketball. Actually, he did in the warm up, so let's see in the game if he can still do it. Oh. And if we. We'll be able to see a dunk from Poi Poi. Will that motivate KG to give us a show as well? Oh, siguro given the opportunity na if he feels good, tatingin ko, KG, hindi naman, hindi na may pagkakait sa atin ni KG oh, yun eh. Basta hindi siya mapila yan. Oo. Oh, oh. 19-15. Jeremy Cruz converts on the strike. Yeah, Bulacan keeping it close in this game na parang in-expect natin it will, at, from, right from the get-go. Lalayo na agad itong Imo sa SB squad. Well, I hate to say it, Coach Louie, but from covering Bulacan's last few games, they do have the tendency to start strong, to mitigate. Third quarter, usually nagkakalayuan. Oo. Uh -huh. sa, sa tingin ko, factor na doon yung fatigue. Eh. Boy, boy! That's just a layup. Two plus one. Rather, he'll be given that enough enough exposure. Para dito, and then let's see this again. Alam mo, kung di na talaga hinarang ni uh, Jeremy Cruz yung uh, atake ni uh, Akto, kung sigurado na natin, sigu alam na natin kung anong finish yung mga yan. Oh. Sayang. Still a long way to go here. A lot, of, a lot more chances for Poi Poi to show off. And you're gonna like kasi how he finishes with, the, the, with those dunks. Kasi it's with authority eh. Oh, oh. Talaga na mar maririnig mo eh. I would actually add on to that by uh, factoring in his legs. Mm -hmm. Yung legs niya kasi may, ano eh, may sipa, palikod, na nagpapaganda ng angulo ng dunk niya. Oo, oh, mas naging graceful thing na eh. Oh, oh. Eight on the shot clock here, Nat Lopez. Again, Srenz Alcoriza up top to KG. Screen by Marvin. Canaleta misses. 
ball recovered by Benson Sebastian. Piercing Gill. Parang si Benson na lang uh -oh. talaga. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Clear the runway! There it is! Slam dunk for Boy Boy Akdub! Oh, so we were talking about that <laughs> with authority. It was just a matter of time. Oh. And now the crowd is very much alive. Runs use on, no basket. Boy Boy's on the run. Here he is once more. Boy Boy back to back slams! And you don't want to get them going. Itong crowd ng Imo sa here. It has been a Poi Poi Aktub show here inside the Imo City Sports Complex. We're going to have to take a look at those replays. And even, even yung bench nila. This was the steal leading to the breakaway for Poi Poi. That is slam dunk number one in this game. And then, as you take a look at Another angle of that first slam dunk. He had another opportunity afterwards. It all happened so fast to the delight of the crowd. And here's the second dunk. This time coming from the right side, still one-handed on the rise. But it is still as graceful on the finish. Oh, and you know, okay, we, we've seen it on sideways lang. Pero kung makikita mo yan from behind, yung finish na yun, doon mo makikita yung lift ni... Uh, so it's now 25 to 16. Back to our ball game. Raflores misfires. Offensive rebound for Bulacan. No basket there. And here comes J. Mark Maliari. They go to Poi Poi. Up top. KG. He Too has easy. That. He has that. Before the likes of Boy Boy Aktu emerged in the landscape of Philippine basketball. It was KG Canyaleta oh, who was no. hailed as the king of dunking that ball. Oh, and how many times he won that slam dunk contest in the, in the pros. Maliari asking Boy Boy to push. He went to Nat Lopez. Marvin Hayes will now slow things down. Coach Gino asking J. Mark Maliari to run the motion offense. They go to Poi Poi. Three-pointer, short. Offensive rebound. Out of bounds in favor of Bulacan. And, and he should cherish also the experience na he's playing alongside. Na pwede niya maging mentor in terms of finishing strong in the basket. Itong si uh, Poi Poi Aktub. Oh, nice save. Off of the block, boy, boy! Yes, sir! <laughs> Folks, this is just a regular basketball game. This is not a slam dunk competition. But boy, has it been the Poi Poi Aktub show tonight. Oh, oh, and you mentioned it. You mentioned it big time, Migs, that it can be, it, this game can turn out to be a slam dunk game. <laughs> That's three dunks in just two minutes for Poi Poi Aktu and the Emo Stroud would gladly take that. I actually believe that he can jump even higher than that. Oh. I've seen it in their warm-ups. Does he seem to be a bit tired now? Parang hindi. Oh, excited yan eh. <laughs> Alam mo yung, grabe yung energy ngayon nararamdaman yan. And he waited for this. And then, Alam mo yun, itong ganitong sitwasyon, how, three dunks in a game and we're just here in the first quarter. He's actually on pace to own all of the highlights in our top 10 plays. Tignan natin. Malayo-layo pa. Here's Poi Poi. Up top, Martin Hayes, no high-low. That Lopez is three, too strong, rebound KG. Baka later on, meron din, meron din uh, tayong uh, pabaon from uh, Jamar Himpayan, Pwede. alam ka na Jim Boy, pas, kay Jim Boy Estrada. Well, those guys are capable dunkers as well. But I have to say this, I really hope we can see a dunk from KJ Ganileta. Hmm. 30 to 17. No more shot clock in the first frame. 
Magliari looking up. He knows about the time. Down to 12 seconds. Coach Gino calling for Marvin Hayes. There's a screen by KG. J Mark for three. Too strong. And that will do it for our first frame. One more basket right there for Arce. The score after one is 13 to 17. And folks, it has basically been the Poi Poi Aktub show. Oh, 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 yeah. And we're just in the first quarter, so maybe there's a lot more in store in this game. This is among the highlights that ni Poi Poi Aktub. Let's see if all of his highlights in this reel are ducks. So far, it's been all dunks. 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. Because you don't need any more, any other highlights. You can just stick with those three with multiple angles. See those grac gracious or graceful finish finishes. Oh. <laughs> okay, point, point. I like the last one. After saving that basketball, okay, passing to KG Canaleta, continue running, then finishing it with a dunk. 30 to 17 after one. Back inside the Emo City Sports Complex, which has basically been owned by Poi Poi Akub so far. The score reads 30 to 17 after one. And now we just got to see a basket from Renz Alcuriza. Well, that's not Poi Poi, it's not Lopez. Showtime for him. Unfortunately, he was not able to convert. Oh, hindi pinagpigan niya Renz Alcuriza in that uh, attack layup by. Uh, Attempt by uh, Nat Lopez. Matt Lopez. Here's Nat once again. Lopez going to KG. Canaleta drives. 1 2. Feed inside to Marvin Hayes. Marvin Hayes from Nino Canaleta. Inside scoring 24 to 10. Is there from Boss R, Ron Siuzon. Here's Hubert Cani. Lopez. Great defense by Sebastian. I want Imos to maintain this pace ng, ng laro ito, that every time get, they get stopped, wala na talagang itakbo na nila ng itakbo kasi doon nila makukuha yung advantage. Eh, na, meron naman eh. The, the players around them, I love, ito si Marvin can still run, ito si Lopez can still run. Carlo Lastimosa also. Siguro bilis na lang talaga ni Coach Gino, yung, yung pagpalit niya ng mga players. So he does have a lot more players available compared to Bulacan's roster. Missed there from KG. And here comes Jordan Ingel. Alcuriza, met by Lopez. Rens uses the screen, step back three. That's good. Yeah, right now the only thing that's shining for uh for the Bulacan Puyas. Terence Alcoriza. Terence Alcoriza na lang talaga. An 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 kasi talaga nang nawala eh no si uh, De La Torre, Jeric Nakwil, si Queen Camacho, David De La Cruz, David De La Cruz. Ooh, what a crossover. No basket though for Hubert Caddy and Marvin Hayes recovers. Joseph Gabayne. Starting five now, basically. Oh, oh. May iba pa. To the Guzman. They have a very athletic power forward. Well, what's his name? Astimosa goes all the way for a layup. I'm trying to remember the power forward's name. 
dumadang din yun. Sa Bulacan po yan. Oo. Not Maliari. Hindi. Hindi si Maliari. Ayun, nawala din yun. Oo, oh, Daniel De Guzman, di ba? Isa pa, bata. Oo. Oh. Number 28, yung jersey number. Oh, I have to remember him. But uh, we'll get back to that later on. Is Junji Haliari now checking in? Is he a homegrown? Yeah, he is. That's why he got some cheers from the crowd. 36-22, Benson Sebastian. That's a homegrown of Bulacan. Makes his first free throw. Oh, actually, si Benson lang naiwan na legit sent na big man eh. Right. So imagine if he fouls out. Oh, oh. We're going to see the same scenario as the QC. And folks, if you missed it, Kojak Melibrito had to play center earlier today. 36-24. Almost three minutes gone by in the second. Open three. That's good for Nat Lopez. One two for Renz Alcoriza. Oh, great move there by Alcoriza. Thirteen points now for Renz. Kalahati ng output ng Bulacan. Marvin Hayes, lefty hook shot. He gets the bounce. Forty-one twenty-six. Miguel cross court. EJ Toribio. Take on the drive. He was fouled by Junji Haliare. At papasok na ulit si Poy Poy Aktu. Now this three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances. No. It's an easy-looking three for Nat. Oh, ramdam mo agad. No? Once inserted, naramdam mo agad yung, yung energy ng crowd natin dito. Nakabalik na si Poy Poy Aktu. Boy Boy had 13 points in the opening quarter itself with three slam dunks. Toribio scored. First two points in this game for EJ. 41-28. Boy Boy. Led by Arce. We go to Junji. Castimosa. Has he even shot the ball before that? Then again, he'll take those two points. Oh. And he seems to have already had an injury on his left knee. At dun siya natamaan ni Marvin Hayes. Oo, and ang mabigat pa doon, si Marvin Hayes pa yung nakaupo sa'yo. Oo. EJ is limping. Jamar Flores will check back in. Same goes for Jamar Himpayan. Pabalik din si Jem Cruz. Uh, that this leaves uh, Jeremy Cruz to play the four spot at itong si Raflores, J.R. Flores play at the five well, J.R. Flores is basically their best bet as the other center besides Benson Sebastian turnover story, 5-2 to two in favor of Imus Junji all the way for two now lead up to 17 45-28. Jordan Ingel is blocked by Junji. Kabila. Here comes Boy Boy. But this time, it's only a layup. Oh, you want it? You, you want, we, we're going to wait for that. Okay. Nakita na natin yung one-handed slam. Yung dalawang kamay na. Hintayin natin kay Boy Boy Aktub. I wonder if he has some windmills, some 360s available for us. That time around, it's just a layup. It's still two points for Boy Boy up to. Kita mo naman kung kahit layup yun. Ang taas talaga ito, Malo. Kasi stress si Coach Louie. Eh, Boy Boy. Baka mamaya, ilagay niya na yung ulo niya doon sa ring eh. 
The next three games for Bulacan will be Mindoro, Marikina, and Pasay. So that game versus Marikina will happen on their home floors. And then they will travel to Pasay inside the Honeta Astrodome to face the Voyagers. Now, let's travel to the sidelines with Gina Salaysay. Kung babalikan natin ang simula ng season ng Bulacan Kuyas, maganda ang kanilang mga naging laro. But unfortunate situations put them to an 11 losing streak. Pag hindi Coach Joseph Mabagos, ang gusto nila ay makitang lumaban ng team. Mahirap bumangon lalo na kung sunod-sunod ang talo. Pero sa larong ito, dalawang bagay lamang. Aggressive on transition defense at mapantayan ang energy ng kalaban lalo na nasa home court sila. Next Coach Louis. To Sheila's point, yes, they were 3-0. and zero. After that, they were 4-1. and one. And uh, a lot of people actually thought Bulacan was looking like a playoff team. But because of the losses that you enumerated earlier, it's not the drop off of the Kuyas. It's not just on them. It's, it, and it's really hard to get back. Especially, you know, yung, in terms of your energy, your effort, you know that you're going to be able to get every game, you're not going to be able to get it. And then, the players that dumarating pa. Ang laking, ang laking fact, malaking factor yun. Juju eh. Haliari just scored off of a feed from Poy Poy up to. Actually, may kita mo naman the way Bulacan runs his offense. It's not the best looking offense. And their defense as well. Ooh! Almost just snapped up from Mipaya. Uh -huh. Ooh! Up and under. Could have been a block as well from Poy Poy. Oh. Yun pala yung pwede natin expecting kay Poy Poy, no? You chase down chase block. Chase down, oh. One, two, and the layup for J-Mark. Sorry, coach. I cut you off right there. What were you about to say? Oh, uh, sa akin kasi with the uh, emos right now. And uh, it is to get something out of this game. I mean, they were able to at least... Because uh, after this game, I bet uh, makes etong si Akto will settle down. So, baka mas magamit na ng uh, mas objective or talagang sa game na talaga ni uh, coach uh, Gino Manansala, eto si Akto. So, can we say that this is the coming out game for Poy Poy Akto? Oo. And, uh, alam mo yun, kasi ang, yung importante dito, hindi niya, to sa mga previous games nila, he was given chances, pero hindi niya mailabas yung, yung siya mismo eh. Oo. Oo. So, at least ngayon, ito na. Oo. Oh, Nailabas niya na. Kahit na hindi na makadunk yan sa mga laro, pero, mag, alam mo yung maglaro na talaga siya ng maayos, okay na yun. Kasi nailab napakita niya na the, high the, the highlights will stay. JJ Helterbrand scored his first three points in this game. Three points shooting natin, three out of eight for Emos, four out of 16 already for Bulacan. And here comes Poy Poy. Aktub! <laughs> That was like a tip slam right there. Tama. Kahit na hindi na slam, pumapasok na rin eh. So, Poy Poy is now up to 17 points in this game. Oo. So, maybe, ano na, career high na yan. Oh, definitely. I think he can reach 30. Depende kung kakayanin niya na. Oo. Kung kakayanin niya pa. And, sigurado lahat tayo, lahat ng mga mga fans natin dito ng Emos SB squad would love that. Diba? Pero yung energy ni Poy Poy ang magiging question dito. Long way to go. We have a minute and 57 remaining in the second frame and you can see Poy Poy. He's down on his knees or he was down on his knees. There he goes back at it again. Usually, pag ganyan, bumababa na. Nararamdaman mo na eh. Oh, and you know, itong itong score natin, 60 to 35. We still, we still, one minute 57 left in the game. Second half, second period, palang tayo. Usually, misan ay to na yung score ng game eh. Oh, at least third quarter maybe. Now I ask you this: yung ginagawa ni Poy Poy kanina na how do you even describe that? Do you kuka with your body? Tapos yung arms mo are on your knees. Oh, that's because that's your rest. But do you actually support that, or do you prefer a different type of gesture for a rest? Yeah, depende, depende kung kung nasa practice kami. Kung nasa practice ako, hindi discourage ko yun. I want them to to keep their poise. Yeah, de ba? 
Pero minsan sa game, kailangan mo ibigay na sa mga player yun. Eh. Kasi doon dun, 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 yun yung safety net nila. Eh. So doon sila magpapahinga saglit. Mm -hmm. Tapos doon tuloy-tuloy na uli yan. Because I remember back in high school, we were taught not to do that as well in our practices. Para nga mas masanay ka. No? Mm -hmm. Ang pinapagawa sa amin is ano eh. As Mark Gillian scores inside, mahawakan mo yung bewang mo. Tapos titingin ka sa taas. Tapos hihinga ka pa taas. Hmm. Ano tingin mo doon? Because right now, the teaching says that uh, pag, if you're winded, wag kang, kasi di ba dati, pag winded na tayo, gusto natin sa mouth mag-inhale mag, mag exhale. Oh. Okay, right now, pilitin mo sa ilong pa rin. Sa ilong pa rin. Ooh, there you go. Kasi the more air you need, eh. if you, if, pag sa mouth, ka, sa mouth lumabas yung air, mas marami ka ilalabas, ikilangan mo nga ng hangin. Eh. Okay. There you have it, folks. Some breathing lesson from uh, Coach Louis Gonzalez. Breathe with your nose, not with your mouth. Oh, oh, kasi once that you do that, talagang mas 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 nakakapagod. Aaron Jacob just scored for Bulacan. It's a 28-point game with 20 seconds remaining before halftime. JJ Hilderbrand up top. Here to Hubert Cani. By the way, we can't underestimate the fact that Hubert Cani is with Imus. That guy's a deadly scorer as well. Oh, oh. Just missed on that jump shot. Feet inside, and Gillian will beat the buzzer. Yeah, great pass there. 66 to 38. And if that will count, it will be 68 to 38. Uh oh, That's gonna count. And so, it's a 30-point game at halftime in favor of the Emos SB squad as we bring in the epic move of the game. Partnership that we get together, we win. There's a beat at the last second by Junji Haliari for the buzzer beater of Mark Gillian. This should also be the best performance scoring-wise for Mark Gillian so far in the season, by the way. Uh, on, again, taking, making the most out of the opportunity with this game. Maganda to, maganda to para sa Imus SB squad, especially na alam mo nagahabol sila para dun sa nagahabol sila para dun sa playoff spot.
you're still watching the OK Beg Marlika Filipinas Basketball League live here in Emo Sports Complex. And joining me for this halftime is Councillor Mark Villanueva of Emo City. Magandang gabi po, Councillor. And thank you so much for hosting today's game. Ngayon umulan, pumagyo ang lahat ng tao dito nanonood para sumuporta. Meron ka bang mensahe, mga gustong pasalamatan o badihin? Uh, first of all, siyempre gusto kong pasalamatan ang aking mga kababayang Imosenyo sa walang sawang pagsuporta sa ating team at uh, sa MPBL. Uh, siyempre, oh, gusto gusto namin pasalamatan ang aming minamahal na Mayor, Mayor Alex Advincula, ang aming uh, Congressman, Congressman AJ Advincula, ang aming Vice Mayor, Vice Mayor Homer Sakilayan, at ang uh, sanggunian panlungsudo ng Imus. At siyempre, oh, yung mga tumutulong sa aming kupunan, uh, Boss Monching Talisayon, uh, Congressman Sam Versosa, uh, Phil and Claw, Gamex, Medalya, at uh, gusto ko rin nung imbitahan ang uh, ating mga kasama sa IMUS na suportahan din ho ang ating team sa Junior MPBL na naglalaro ho din ngayon. Uh, wala pa ho, kahapon ho kami ho ay naglaro kalaban ng uh, Quezon Junior Huskers at naipanalo ho namin yung tatlong, pan, tatlong games namin kahapon. Maraming salamat po, Councilor. At syempre, marami pa silang aabangan, hindi lang dito sa IMOS uh, na uh, seniors, pati na rin sa juniors. So, meron pa po? Siya yung mga players nga pala namin, Mark Pingris and uh, Mac Macardona. Magpagaling na kayo at kailangan-kailangan na namin kayo dito. Maraming salamat and thank you again, Councilor Mark. Action continues sa pagitan ng Bulacan at IMOS sa pagbabalikan ng Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League.
Basketball League. Nabay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang lagi It is halftime here in Imo City. The score reads 68 to 38 in favor of the Imo's SV squad, and it was just complete domination from them in the first half. And it was basically the Poi Poi Actu show: 17 points, five rebounds, five assists, and two steals with three slam dunks. So Coach Louis is actually on pace for a triple double. Uh, taking the making the most out of the opportunity uh, in this game versus uh, Bulacan itong si uh, Poy Poy Acto alam mo yung napakalaking bagay ito for him especially para dun sa kumpiyansa na da, hinahanap niya in the, in the last games na, nila, na bin, nabibigay siya ng playing time ni uh, coach uh, Gino Manansala and in, in this game if you look, look at it, it, it yung Bulacan ha, alam mo nagsimula sila ng maganda eh ng maayos eh till that in that second quarter where uh, Itong uh, Imos SV squad really created that biggest big separation and now up by 30 points. So if you look at the field goal percentage, 36% compared to 60%. Rebounding story, 13 to 32. Ang layo niyan. Pass break points at 25. Inside points at 14. Tapos 50 naman para dito sa Imos SV squad. Renz Alcoriza was the lone bright spot for Bulacan scoring 18 out of their 38 points. In the first half, there doesn't seem to be much sense of urgency anymore from the Kuyas. A lot of their players are just sitting on their bench right now. Just some practicing their shots before we begin the third quarter. Kabila naman, there you see the smile of Poy Poy Aktub. Again, he has 17 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Jamar Himpayan has 10, Judy Haliare, the homegrown, has 8, and Mark Gillian also has 6 points to his name. If you actually think about the run that happened in the first half though, the score was 17-13 to 13 after the first 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then the Poi Poi Aktub show happened. Alam mo yun, parang ano yan eh, yung uh, before when I was at, uh, attending at the, a seminar with Coach Spolstra and I was playing against Lebron pa during that time. Yeah. Alam mo yun, sinasabi niya sa amin yung dunk ni Lebron is worth 6 points. Diba? So, ayun yung parang nangyari yung, when Popoy October, okay, had that back-to-back -back slam dunk. 
yung energy ng Imus SB squad talagang tumaas bigla o oh, nga well the Imus crowd itself they were quiet at the start of this game up until that back to back to back moment for Poy Poy Aktub oh. and again it makes us curious as to whether or not we're gonna see some dunks from his teammates as well because you have a handful of players who can throw it down for Imus. Jamar Himpayan, KG Canyoleta, who else? Jimbo Estrada. Pero pa ba? Oh, oh. May isa sa bench. Yung kaninang dumataktak sa warm-up nila. It's Aaron Decano. Oh, oh, who's pa. also from St. Clair. A big man. He can also provide a show for us. By the way, direct if we can get a shot of Bakma Cardona by the end of the bench of Imus, we will gladly take that because... Makmak again. He's out for the season not because of a major injury as Mark Gillian scores. Si Makmak na tamaan po yan sa kanyang jo. Mm. It's been broken for a couple of weeks now. It happened in Quezon. He will need operation kung hindi pa tapos na, no? Best of wishes para kay Makmak Cardona on his recovery as Gillian scores inside. You know, uh, the game yesterday, the game today, is an opportunity for those alam mo yun, na hindi masyado nabibigyan ng enough uh, exposure. Yeah. Then, uh, right now, for the Imus SP squad, ito si Mark Gillian. Yeah, Gillian, ever since his inclusion late in the second quarter, talagang nabibigyan siya ng Imus teammates niya. 8 points right away. Kaya, yung nakita mo yung ating head-to-head uh, -head in terms of bench points, first half pa lang, itong uh, Imus SB squad, 50 points na. Oh, oh. And yesterday, with the uh, yesterday naman, Batangas Embassy Chill, bench points, 84. 32 naman, coach, no first half para sa Imus, ang bench scoring natin. Did we get that right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. But I totally understand you. Everything's just exaggerated from this point on for uh, these two teams as Mark Gillian scores inside. And the brand with the feed. Was, yes. was it also against uh, the Bolokan Puyas where uh, the Pampanga Giant Lantern set, set that inside point scoring at 100 plus? Yes, Tamayon. It happened in Bulacan as Jaybar! Jim Bayan gives us a nasty jab. Wow. Well, that totally caught us off guard. We've been waiting for him to dump that ball. Parang Wednesday pa lang, uh, <laughs> makes kumpleto na yung top 10 natin. <laughs> Boy, we're going to have to see the replay on that one. That was a mighty impressive because he had a defender in front of him. Oh, oh. Posterized. Oh, oh, posterized. <laughs> Gillian fading away. He's now up to 14 points in this game. Oh, and to the delight nitong uh, bench nitong uh, Imos SB squad. 80-41. Cross court to Bulacan. Jem Cruz. Red Salturiza. There's the pull-up. The glass it is. Now, you brought up the Pampanga game. As Jimbo Estrada gives us that beautiful one-two, he will be given two free throws here. That Pampanga game actually featured a different player of the game. Now, as we bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet, together we win. We would like to extend our sincerest apologies to Renz Alcuriza because he's once again a part of an MPBL slam dunk poster. Previously with Marky and now with J. Marky Payan. Parang nagshit. Siya din nagiging player natin ng NBA. player before ng NBA na si Mike Jordan, Michael Carter Williams ba yun? Lagi siyang... Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight. Brandon, Brandon Knight. Knight. Oh. <laughs> na ankle breaker, na dadakdakan. Wawa naman. Uh, I was mentioning the Pampanga game. Si Ronan Santos, you player the game nun. Mm -hmm. Because they, of course, they did not need to play. And Serrano as much. Balti Baltazar as much. And so Ronan Santos got the majority of the minutes. And he was the one who gave a dunk show in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And 
Ayun talaga. If you talk about finishing with a dunk, parang hindi, parang hindi lang yata mag, kayang mag dunk doon sa Pampanga Giant Lantis. Baka si Raymond Binoya lang. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kaya mo mabot pa rin ng ring. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, three-pointer from J.J. Helderbrand. Now that makes me think, sino nga bang nasa line-up ng Pampanga na hindi kaya dumakda? Probably Kurt Rayson. And then, who else? Yun na yun. Yun na yun. <laughs> Sinadjap pang bid ba? Oh, oo Bids naman. kaya, no? Oo. Oh, oh. And so we rest our case, folks. Joseph Peña Redondo. One, two, and the layup. Kabila, Jem Cruz for three. In and out. And here comes Boy Boy. Tried to go behind the back. He was fouled. And now, Coach Louie, because we've been talking about dunking a lot more as this three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances, J.D. Helderbrand. Smooth stroke, as always, from downtown. Going back to dunking. Ang alam ko walo eh. Walo yung contestants sa uh, slam dunk contest. Mm -hmm. Kung bibigyan mo ako ng walo, ngayon at ngayon din, Coach Louis Gonzalez, sino ang walo mo? Oo, oh, sa, sa larong pa lang to, I have two already. Sino? Si Poy Poy Aktub. At, ay, tatlo na pala. Poy Poy Aktub, J. Marheim Payan, saka si Jimboy Estrada. Okay. Alright, then uh, si Val Fornillos. I have four already. Si Matt De Leon. Encho Serrano. Anim na yun. Anim na yun. So, two more. Mm -hmm. Ayaw mo na magsama sa Pampanga? Okay na yun. Oh, pwede kasi. Lalagay mo pa si Archie Concepcion. Pwede pa rin si Archie Concepcion doon. Pwede pa rin si Apolonio. Ang, si si uh, Minus. Ang dami talaga eh. Si Koy Kutay ba? Kaya ba na? Kaya, pero hindi, hindi, hindi pang dunk contest. Oh, hindi pang dunk contest eh. Oh, folks, we're gonna take our time with this. Si Bobby B. <laughs> si Noko. Kaya ba? Oh, hindi may pwede, pero hindi ganun eh. Actually, alam mo sino yung parang uh, pwede? Sino? Na hindi mo parang mapapansin? Si Michael Caniete. Ah, yeah. Oo nga. Low-key siya eh. Pero oh. nakakailan na siya para sa Baco or this season. Oo. Oh, oh. 89.45. By the way, folks, that's gonna be a floating topic in this game. Ah, babalik balikan natin yung dunk contest participants na yan. Because we're gonna take a, we're gonna con continue looking at our team standings for possible contestants. As Arce scores from downtown. Here's Poi Poi down the middle, hook shot, no basket. Kabila, Jem Cruz. Three-pointer again for Arce. That's good. Yeah, back-to-back -back three points. Troy Malilim. Oh, pwede rin. Oh. Miss there from Peña Redondo. Poi Poi up and under with some magic in the air. Timeout dito, ang Bulacan Kuya sa down by 40 points, 91-51. 3 minutes and 41 remaining in the third. There's the beautiful layup of Mr. Akub himself. Still no slaps in the second half, but he already has a beautiful high highlight reel once he exits this venue. We'll be back. You see the beautiful Miss Christiana Di Maunahan, of course, the love of the Hubert Canny's life, always supporting at the sideline. Yeah, there's 
there's another one eh, uh, plus playing for the Bicol Volcanoes, Dumatog ba yun? Si Dumatog? Dumatoy? Like, like, like that? Dumagtoy! Dumagtoy! Oo, oh, pwede rin yun. Pwede rin dumaktak yun. Oh. By the way, folks, for those of you who are wondering <laughs> what we're talking about, it's uh, possible contestants for the dunk contest. That will definitely include this guy. Boy, boy! Clear the runway! And that's what we're waiting, that two-handed dunk. <laughs> so, meron ng one-handed, meron ng two-handed. Ano kaya ang uh, susunod? Here's J-Mark. Ah, liyup sana yun. Man. <laughs> Sayang! <laughs> so, take a look at this breakaway. Once again, for Boy Boy Aktub. The crossover at the last second leading to the two-handed jab. What a finish. And... Hindi tayo pinat pinahiya ni Poy Poy Akto. I don't think he's done. Still a long way to go for him tonight. This is his best game so far in his young MVP career. There you see the numbers for Poy Poy Akto. Again, he might just have a triple double as well. Uh -oh. He continues to rebound and dish out that ball. So isa na lang yung wish ko for this game. Ano? An alley hoop dunk. Okay, for Poy Poy. Oh, for Poy Poy. <laughs> Ako, personally, I still want a KG Kanyaleta dunk. KG Kanyaleta dunk. Arce, wow. Now he's waxing hot. Arce, three yeah, for third three in this quarter. Exactly. 93.54, under two and a half minutes. In third, J-Mark. No basket. And here comes Matt Vegiga. Arce to Boss R. Luzon almost lost the ball. No score here in Apok. Arce again. This time he drives. No Ooh. play up. No basket. Kabila. Boy, boy. Yes, sir. There you go. A windmill <laughs> this time around from Boy, boy, Aktub. Now, this will give problems to our. Alam mo Kung sino yung magko-compile ng mga dunks ni Poy Poy Akub in this game and how they gonna put that in the top 10? Hindi ko nga alam, ipapackage na lang nila yun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> o riisa-isahin ba natin? Kasi ilan na? Lima na eh. Lima na eh. Meron din si J. Mark Impayan in uh, this game. And in this game, alam mo yun, in this quart, in this half, isang two-handed slam, tapos isang windmill. So what more can he offer? How about that? You see what we're talking about in terms of the legs. Poy Poy Akub. Maganda yung angulo. Same goes for that layup. 25 points now for Poy Poy. Showtime. This is basically the Poy Poy Akub show, folks. And it will be. One last quarter to go. Miss there, Poy Poy with the board. Here he comes. Ooh, this time it's Decano with his version of a slam. And now it's Emos putting, putting a dunking show. It was Pampanga before that did this. Ganitong pur and daming dunk. Uh oh, uh oh, Poy Poy! <laughs> oh my goodness! Imagine if that went in. Right. Could have been the number one, maybe the number one play dito sa ating liga na. In the history of the MPP, oh. that is. Decano with a second slam in this game. Coach Gino is just having fun. Oh. No more X's and O's. And hindi tayo nagkamali. Ito na yun. Hindi ka lang kama ni Mix. <laughs> Slam dunk party. <laughs> Imus is now up to 101 points. And we just ended the third quarter. What a show. What a show. And what a game. <laughs> we have seen eight dunks in this game already. That might just be eight out of your ten plays in the upcoming top ten plays of the week. There you see the first one for Decano, who is also a product of St. Clair, working with Coach Gino Manazzala. And then the second one, this time the pass came from Joseph Peña Redondo. That's Aaron Decano with two slams to go alongside Poi Poi's five. 
And Jmars won. 101 to 54 after three. Folks, welcome back to the Poi Poi Aktub and Imo City Dunk Show. The score is 101 to 54 as we begin the fourth quarter. Aktub is still on the floor alongside Hubert Cani, who just got the steal, with Junji Haliare, Mark Gillian, and Aaron Decano as Junji Haliare scores. Yeah, Junjun, uh, Junji Haliare at ito si Mark Gillian still continues to play well okay, for the Imus SD squad. They're now both in double figures, respectively, as Jeff Cruz trains a jumper. By the way, folks, if you missed it so far, he's already had a record-setting night in terms of dunks in a game by an individual. Poi Poi Aktub already has five! Make it six! But that was the first one on the half-court set. Oh, oh. So doing it everything. So now he also had nine total dunks in this basketball game. That is the new MPBL team record for most dunks in an outing. Of course, before that, the record was held by Pampanga against this very same Bulacan team. As you take a look at this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet, together we win the slam dunk on the half court. For Poi Poi. Gillian, leaner, no basket. Ball recovered by Yaktu, of all people. Poi Poi dancing with it. Inside, he feeds. Stecano misses. 105 56. By the way, folks, no team has lost by 50 points as of yet in the season. So that might just be another record for Imos. We still have a long way to go. Yeah. Haliare on the reverse, no basket. Here's Alturiza. By the way, that has been the thing for the whole night for Bulacan. They've been shooting a lot of threes. Oh, oh so just, just right now, I think. The only way for them to compete is that one. I mean, especially itong nanggagaling kay uh, Alguriza. Get this. Bulacan's three-point shooting is 8 out of 33. Imus's two-point shooting is 43 out of 67. Yeah, 74 inside points in this game for the Imus uh, SB squad. And that includes yung mga highlight, highlight dunks nito ni uh, po, Poy Poy Aktub. Now, Aktub will take a breather. I hope. I hope so. Oh, hindi, hindi, pa, hindi pa tayo pinagbibigyan ni Poy Poy doon sa Ali Hope Dunk eh. Oo nga. Pero that JR Ryder Dunk, pag, sabi ko, if he was able to convert that. The between the legs. Oh, the between the legs. I thought he could have done a 360 first. He's already done a windmill, a windmill, a one-handed jam, and a two-handed jam. And going back to that dunk contest conversation, we've thought of some more players. CJ Katapusan mm -hmm. might be a good candidate. Sa Quezon, marami dapat dyan. Oo. Oh. Sino ba? Ayan, si Gab, si Dagano, si Sandagon. Yes. Gravera. Eh, Gravera. Yeah, okay. Kung maging healthy si Gravera, pwede, pwede talaga yun. That, 
that's it, no? Uh, Jay Mark Magliari scores with a two-pointer. Yes. Where's Rangani? There's no one. Oh, so, of course, of si, uh, si Bobby B. Oh. The end. San Juan Knights, yeah. Can be Grant, can be uh, Sinopum. Oh, we have a timeout first. 108 56. Nagbabalik ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Bukod sa mga Imosenyos, ang mga nakita natin na pumunta dito para suportahan ang Imos SS squad, walang iba, kundi ang Junior Imos team na kasali sa Junior MPBL. Para kay assistant coach Alvin Amposta, hindi maipaliwanag na mga players niya gaano kasaya, ka-excited, mapanood ang kanilang mga kuha, mga kuya. Lalong na-inspire ang mga bata, lalo na kapag nakikita ang mga dunks ni Poy Poy Akkub. Malaking pasasalamat ang team na namigyan ng exposure mga batang under 14, under 16, at under 18. Hindi imposible. After a few years, sila naman daw ang mga kita natin sa pro at magpapakita na kanilang show. Thanks, Coach Rui. Thank you, Sheila. That was a beautiful report. And I would actually like to add on to that. No? Kanina nung halftime show natin, nagkaroon ng moment yung mga bata sa gitna kung saan may picture taking. At dun sa picture taking na yun, syempre may sarisariling cellphone yung mga bata. So they were doing their very own selfies. And I was really surprised because the kids weren't taking selfies with JJ Helterbrand. They weren't taking selfies with KJ Canaleta nor Rico Meyerhofer. They were taking selfies with Poy Poy Aktub. Oh, uh, so because that's that's what's happening right now. And uh, if you check on Poy Poy Aktub sa uh, social media, talagang uh, a grabbing following niya talaga. Oh yeah, definitely at that. Actually, if he's used more in the season. Then he he's basically the next kid he managed. Oh, oh. and you know okay, we're just, we're lucky today that uh, we're give, okay, we were the ones who covered this game and oh, witnessed yeah. that and firsthand. Those, <laughs> again, it's been six dunks already. <laughs> That's a record breaker for Poi Poi Aktu. Most dunks in a game by an individual. Most dunks in a game by a team as well with nine already for Emos. And they're also well on pace to get the largest win in terms of deficit in this season. Oh, and this game came out to be a record-setting game okay, for okay, guys like Etong si Popoy Aktub in terms of yeah, winning margins. <laughs> Fast pass, Poy Poy, J. Mark, no alley -oop. Right to left for J. Mark Maliari. Pinapasulat na po si Coach Louie ng best player of the game. Kung hindi niyo pa po mahulaan kung sinong best player natin. <laughs> Naglulokohan na tayo dito. <laughs> Here we Ayan go! Na. Here we go! Boy, boy, off the glass! <laughs> to no avail. Meron pa pala. <laughs> Ang tanong ko sa'yo, rebound ba yun? Ano po? <laughs> Parang hindi, no? Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Parang hindi ko kalaya mangyayari ito sa isang ordinary game. <laughs> wow. What a first home win this is gonna be for Emo City. Again, they lost to Nevisia and Jensen in this very home floor. That's why they've been hungry to get this victory tonight. So this is the best way for a for them to have shown, or for, for, for them to have given us a show inside this venue. Oh, and also for their for their uh, fans here in their home court, na been following them, even though they lost twice already in this court. Pero, yung parene, yung suporta nandyan parene. Yes. Joseph Peña Redondo from downtown. One hundred fifteen to fifty-eight. 
Here's Boss R. He misfires. At ito ngayon, si J. Mark Maliari, the bounce. Peña Redondo! <laughs> he tried! <laughs> he tried, folks. At ngayon, ngingiti na lang si Joseph. Oo, oh, and you know, pinag-usapan natin to. They're being really taking care, good uh, taking care of itong uh, Imus FB squad. Because in terms of yung kanilang uh, yung lumakas lahat yung player, naglakihan pa eh. Conditioning-wise. Conditioning-wise, eh. Oo, oh, eh. It's the same argument to Pampanga. Na lumaki yung mga katawan. And a couple of them have tried to dunk the basketball already in this game. As Aliari scores inside. Koti na lang si Mac Macardona. Nasali na rin. Pati si Rio, Rico Meyerhofer, oh. Oo. Oh, oh. And you know, in this game, uh, remember na, sa akin eh, sa akin, tanong ko pala. After this one, after this uh, show by Imos, think of Big Light Talk, isa sa magiging one of our most popular teams here in the MPBL. Oh, they should be. The thing is, kung consistent nga talaga yung lineup nila, mm -hmm. consistent na rin yung fan base and support ng mga kuha nila eh. Oo. Oh, oh. The Giga misfires. Forward pass. Peña Redondo. Cross court to Poy Poy. Aktub to Gillian. Kick out. Three pointer for Joseph. Nope. 119 to 60. Ilan yan? So, big up mga coach Louis. Oh, oh. 59 na yan. Ayan, ang galing. Arce from downtown. Yeah, that's a four three pointer of Arce in this, court, in this second half. Peña Redondo. Nope. And here comes Boss R. Ron Siuzon. Oh, ito na lang siguro si, Bo si Boss R. Maka three points from the half court. <laughs> Kompleto na. Kompleto na yung show natin. <laughs> His boy boy. Oh, he's fouled by Benson Sebastian. Oh. I'm not gonna allow. And the fans have now found themselves the new villain. <laughs> Poy Poy Aktub will not shoot free throws as of yet. Wala pa sa penalty itong Bulacan. One nineteen sixty-three. Under two minutes remaining in the fourth and final frame. This will be the largest winning margin in the season. So now it's 56. 56. The previous high was 49 by Batangas. Gillian. That's good. Did Mark Gillian miss already? We're going to have to take a look at that. He's up to 16 points in this game. With 7 rebounds, by the way. Arce from downtown. Too strong. Let's take a look at Gillian's stats. He's 7 out of 9. Ah, 7 out of 9. But still very efficient. Oh, boy, boy, wants the love. Instead, they go to Decano for an easy jam. So, ito yung mga future na natin dito eh. This is now a 60-point game. Boy, boy, by the way, is... Uh-oh, here we go! You know, what you're gonna appreciate on that one, check on where he take who took off. Grab and lie on take off no na mix. Ala Yanis, eh, no? Oh, oh, oh. And Jordan as well. So let's see. There you go. Absolutely no one near him. He took off from the line just ahead of the free throw line. Boy, I really hope he will participate in our slam dunk contest. Poy Poy Aktub has 29 points, 10 rebounds, and 9 assists in this game. Almost a triple-double. Let me refresh the stats. 
because it's not updated. If my math is correct, he has 31 points with 10 rebounds and 9 dimes. And so that will do it. And you must have percentage in terms of shooting that basketball. You feel goal percentage. Yeah. So let me check as well. We thank you for your patience with our internet connection here at the sideline. Poy Poy Akdub. His percentage, 14 out of 20. 70% efficiency from the field. And so this is the biggest win of the season by any team. 59 points ang ating uh, kalabangan para sa Imos. 125-66 is the final. And again, there's no question as to who the best player this game is. It's no triple-double for Poy Poy Aktu. He will finish with 10 points, 9 rebounds, 3 steals, and 31 big points as he establishes the new MPBL record for most dumps by an individual in a game. He oh. had 7 tonight. Oh, and appreciate, he should appreciate the opportunity that that was given to him by his squad, especially his coach, itong si Gino Manansala, and uh, maybe a start of something good okay, for Aktub in this uh, MP, in his young MPBL career. Alright, so there you have it, folks. A big-time win for Poi Poi and Imus. They're first on their home floor in the season. A lot of records broken tonight. Most dunks by an individual, most dunks by a team. Largest winning margin so far in the fifth season of our league. This is obviously the career game as well for Poi Poi Aktu. Mark Gillian had himself a night. Among others, Junji Haliari showed up as well for Imos. And now we turn you over to Sheila Salaysay. At kasama ko nga, syempre, walang ibang ating best player of the game, Poy Poy Aktub. Congratulations! Poy Poy, sa unang laro nyo dito sa inyong home court, marami kayong record. Na, na, na itala, you had the largest win in terms of deficit, yung koponan ninyo. Unang laro ninyo, umpisa pa lang, nakontrol nyo na yung laro. At from then, hindi na kayo promeno. Uh, ginagawa lang namin best namin sa insayo uh, tiwala lang kami sa mga coaches namin teammates namin syempre uh, andun din yung Panginoon sa gitna ng insayo namin and uh, unti-unti na namin maabot yung mga pinaghirapan namin hindi lang team mo ang nag-set ng record ikaw this is your career high on your first best player of the game tila naging uh, slam dunk show itong laro na to with the numbers the most number of dunks of an individual in a game you had seven for tonight ngayon kahit sa ang venue kayo maglaro yun ang inaabangan ng mga supporters so, mabilis ang sagot lang kwentuhan mo kami sino ba ang tiningala mo paano ka nagsimula para ma-develop itong talent o skill na ito Siyempre, uh, galing ako sa paghihirap. Uh, galing ako sa paghihirap. Siyempre, eh, pinipray ko lang palagi kung saan ako dadali ng Panginoon. And siyempre, sa team, team namin, tiwala lang kami sa isa't isa. Ayun lang. Dito sa loob ng venue, kahit sang kalumingon, harap, likod, kanan, kaliwa, kumakaway, nakikitalon at uh, masaya ang iyong mga supporters. Meron ka bang mensahe sa kanila? Uh, yun lang. Uh, wag, wag mawala ng pag-asa kasi di pa tapos ang laban kasi... Dito lang tayo sa mundo para abutin natin mga pangarap natin and lagi lang magtiwala sa taas. Meron ka pa mga gusto pang pasalamatan, Abad Hien? Una-una, pasalamat ako sa Panginoon, syempre sa Mabs Pinominal. Kung di dahil sa inyo, ah, wala ako dito. And sa PBA Moto Club, syempre kila Boss Monching, Talisayon, ah, Victoria Boys, pa sa pamilya ko, sa Kibaway Bukid noon. Shoutout mga taga Kibaway Bukid noon. Mayor namin dyan, Jimboy Tibonto. And sa girlfriend ko from Canada, uwi ka na, see you soon, Gauda. Sa, siyempre, Amos is B-Squad, uh, game MEC and game X. Uh, shoutout sa Gerpeng ko, Jazz Arroyo. I love you. Si Kuya Ping, shoutout po na kay Kuya Ping. Uh, thank you sa iyo, Kuya Ping. And Kuya Makmak, Kuya JJ. Uh, kaila, kaila, sa mga kuya ko. And sa mga tao dito. Let's go! Maraming maraming salamat. Congratulations, Poy Poy. Aktub, ikaw ay isang inspirasyon sa lahat ng mga manlararong ng basketball. At syempre, congratulations din sa iyong team. This player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MPBL. With OK Bet, together we win. Mix and Coach Louie. Job well done as well by Sheila Salaysay on that wonderful interview. Poy Poy Aktub, as mentioned by Sheila.
just showed us why he is an inspiration to a lot of Filipino basketball fans. Tomorrow, the MPBL will travel down south to Quezon Province for Bataan versus Parandiaque, Rizal versus Laguna, and then the Quezon Huskers will defend their home court against our defending champions, the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. We do thank you for joining us for this wonderful night of MPBL basketball. It has been a dunk show for the Imus SV squad led by Poy Poy Aptub. For Sheila Salaysay and Coach Louis Gonzalez, my name is Mix Gomez at ito po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Sa droga ay wa